Alright, got this one set up as a 928 TW for twin. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. I just got done setting up the entire uh, Nanodirect 28 with uh, two 40 amp bi directional ESCs. And then the 28, 26, 2200 kV motors here. They're both, of the, you know, hooked up all the wiring going right through the wing and everything else up in the wing shoulder. Uh, I've got it set up to where one mode is basically full throttle. You can go, go ahead and turn down the rates, and the rudder function is controlling the uh, the differential thrust. The beauty of having bi-directional is the fact that you can reverse the motors, which means that I could basically stop this thing in midair, go ahead and hit reverse, and I'm curious to see what's going to happen, how it's going to handle it. If it's just going to turn into a big flipping leaf, or when I go to hit the, the rudder, with the full rates, turns it into a frisbee. And I've seen that once before. And that is the most wildest looking thing. It turns into a big pinwheel and it just sits up there and just spins. Very much hoping to do that with this one. So I'm going to find out if I got the motors hooked up correctly this time I had to turn around the motors in the right motor because it was spinning backwards. This one was doing just fine. I had to change around the rudder function and the and the programming, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Oop. Uh, inputs, yeah, just all the standard inputs. Next page, I've got this thing set up really, really weird. <laughs> uh, throttle, this is where I have the throttle up like this. That one basically allows the uh, the throttles to be set at the midpoint on the throttle here. And what happens is as I pull back, the motors go backwards and they go forward. If I hit it in the middle and go like this, and this way it's going to have equal amount of thrust going on the left and right in opposite directions. That's what's going to turn it into the pinwheel. Right an aileron to elevator that's just standard. I could turn it into like an X-Wing fighter and have mixing with the, the throttles mixed in with the aileron. So basically then we'll have a, a really weird coordinated turn and everything else. Um, maybe that's something I'll try a little bit later. But right now I just want to try this thing out and see if everything hooked up correctly here. So make sure we have to switch the upper position. Otherwise it will start off and will be a, not exactly set. Throttles would have to be dead set in the middle. So, alright. This, alright. I'm only going 3S right now because uh, 4S is a little wild. And 6S, I don't know, I might burn the motors. Yeah, okay. Now they're both active. You know, so they're kind of rotating. Okay, you hit the rudder now, nothing happens. Oh. Now you hit the, the low rates, the low rates on the rudder. You hit them all the way over the side. Testing out this bad boy, it's gonna be a wild one. <laughs> well, I'm just letting my love birds okay. to uh, have a way of their dancing together. <laughs> uh, I was trying to, trying to document this little thing, so I'm gonna find out how it's gonna fly here, hopefully. Today? Uh, I don't know, it's gonna be pretty wild, but you go through the mid throttle section. Yeah. That's the problem with doing it like that is sometimes it'll have so much torque coming from that motor It'll just snap the prop right off <laughs> Then I'm, then I'm uh, in trouble, so I'm gonna have to go back and find it, but uh, You're in the midsection here as you can see All right And then 
know when you switch it back over, you have to immediately go throttle down. <sighs> Otherwise, yeah, it's a lot of throttle. All right. See what happens out the field. All right. I think a documented proof that this thing might fly or might not fly. This is going to be feel interesting. <laughs> right now I'm only flying 3S on this thing. For these ESCs and the motors being 2200 kb, they provide plenty of thrust, that's for sure. Put some differential in the, uh, or expo in the uh, throttle, so... <laughs> Try it without the differential thrust. Ooh, damn, that's gonna be a interesting plane, that's for sure. Center of gravity is about right where it's supposed to be. Right here at the nose, I've got a mark right there. Yeah, um really hoping this thing is going to be able to fly the way it's supposed to. No crazy stuff with it on this flight here. <laughs> okay. okay. You guys ready to see this? Oh crap man, the field's all soaking wet. This sucker's got some punch to it. But yeah, the trims are all out of whack though. Yeah, a whole bunch of up. Crap, man, this thing flies really nice of it. Flies fairly decent as a twin, damn. There we go. Might be flying a little strange only because Well, a little strange because the, the throttle is a little offset. Okay. I shut the throttle off. Oh no, not in the puddle. Right over here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. That little sucker, man, it hauls ass. Damn. I'm gonna have fun when I put the video on it. So I got one throttle. That's a little bit differential. No wonder why it was pulling off the side, but I think it's because the uh, props off off kilter. So. Yeah, I think that's definitely gonna work. All right. Yeah, you this. Want me to do video? Well, yeah, if you really want to. I mean, all I was doing is just doing this right here. But if you want to just hold it like this, yeah, it's on a. Oh. It's on 2D video right now, so. Is it? You're recording. Yeah. That was right here. So I found just kind of keeping the throttle at the same. 
uh, you know, the where, where you have the whoop, same synchronization and everything else, it works just fine that it, it seems to fly just fine, but wow, that has got a lot of, a lot of punch to it. <coughs> <laughs> Uh oh. I tried to well, throttle up a little bit. To, I, was, uh, I, I was just about to say you can fly without FPV. Man, that's a hot little son of a gun, I will say. But yeah, I gotta get that one throttle fixed. As soon as you throttle up a little bit, the one motor takes off a little bit more, so it really has a lot of differential on it. Is that what happened on the landing? Yeah. You, you slowed down, then when you kicked well, it, you kicked it hard and it went crazy? It slowed down because the battery was losing power. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> so I had to set it for landing. <laughs> then I realized when I cut the throttle, it was a little too far out. I'm like, ah. Uh, so you hit the throttle a little bit, and the one motor takes over, and it just kind of spins it around. But I was teasing you when I said, oh, you can fly without FPV, huh? It's got 240 MPSCs in here, so... <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, 2200 kV motors, yeah. I think I